All right, guys, we are on a call where they asked us to please just let them know what's wrong. I, I, when I drove up, I saw it was an older um, teardrop pain condenser. So let's go in and see what's going on. Stay tuned. All right, it says heat is on. Hmm, I don't hear anything. Let me go get a light because we're going in the attic. This is a vacant house. Man, it's a big, big old disconnect. That disconnect is huge. All right, let's um, let's start digging into it. I got my staircase right here where I need to be working. Let's get my meter. No. Forgive me if the camera's swinging a little bit. It's a new setup that I have. All right, I'm checking top to top. 240 volts top to top Come on. 240 volts Let's see if I can hear the transformer I hear the transformer humming we have us a blown fuse Lovely. thermostat is going to be in time delay because we just turned the power back on. Very clearly the blower will work. Let's see if this pops my fuse. Yep. Let's go take a look outside and get out of this death trap. <clears throat> well, it's a relief not feeling like I'm fixing to fall. That was cutting it mighty close, wasn't it? 
All right, I'm gonna go to the other side. Sixteen point five eight. That's not bad. Let's see if we have anything to ground here. Seventeen ohms. Is that because my comment is grounded? Mm -hmm. About one kilo ohm. See, is there a switch? Do I have a low pressure switch or something? <laughs> there's one of my switches, and there's the other one. disconnected and now I got 14 mega ohms so something in here maybe shorting the ground let's um pull our switch off Try again. All right, something through my switches is showing a key to on the ground. this loose and that all right so my pressure switches are not connected to anything all right on my blue one I'm showing One mega ohm, mega ohm on yellow. It's really searching. really seeing anything on either one of those I don't see nothing behind the board hmm. 
I'm curious. All right, I have the hot wire on the contactor disconnected. Contactors pulled in. Which I wasn't expecting because I got what's supposed to be my hot wire disconnected. So if that's not hooked up, does that tell me that the timer's not gonna run on my defrost? Let's see something. Let's see if we lose voltage. I still got 27 volts. Have I moved something around where it's no longer shorting? see down inside there I didn't see where they had rubbed on anything I did not notice this say red to red white to white orange to orange looks like we got blacks going to brown yellow to yellow I don't have to undo that one now I'm just waiting for this thing to come on on its own through the thermostat and maybe check pressures on it all right I'm in here and it's pretty clear this thing is on But I've got no low voltage outside. That filter looks like it's clogged. It's sucked up in there. Let me look outside one more time. I 
Apparently, I have not blown a fuse. I got no low voltage there. Let me get right on common. No low voltage. Four volts. Yeah, I need to get back in the attic because I think we're gonna find somewhere where the thermostat wire ain't doing so good. Because right now it's acting like I got a break in two wires. <clears throat> Let's get back up there. Get back. pressed under that box. Right here. Crazy. Right there. Right there. Oh my God. Okay, there's a reason I don't have red. I may have been picking up some back, well, I guess like back EMF through the thermostat wire. I'm gonna cut this back. Eliminate this. 
suspect portion of the wire. Let's see how much room I have. Oh, I got plenty. Let's cut it right about here. Like right about here. red first the one wire nut you see still on there that's for green and that don't go outside called about this he said as long as it's just a couple hundred dollars go ahead and fix it I told him two hours is a couple hundred dollars look what I found up here Heat is on. If I turn the fan to auto, I came in just a second ago and the fan was not running and it said heat was on. Let's check outside real quick. Oh, that's just lovely. No, we are not running. That's an unoccupied apartment. So we're going back tomorrow. I'm not gonna let it push me over five o'clock. I've already got another thermostat here. Let's see if we can jump it out first and uh, Make this come on. Let's go take a look. Huh. Well, that ain't good. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's where it goes into the wall. It looks like it can pull freely if I have to pull a new one. And y'all see all this space up here? Ginormous space. And I had to put that air handler right over the access blocking off all of this i'm just following this wire to see if i'm finding anything chewed up or anything rather cold right now is there another axis over here and I'd hate to think that yeah
in the garage there's an access so there's even more space over there wow all right the thermostat wire seems clear I did have a blown fuse. Ooh, that sparked. All right. Thermostat is completely disconnected. At least now it's blowing. I think this goes to the thermostat. Nothing. And that's disconnected. Blew it. And that is the one that goes outside. All right, I'm gonna let this call go through my defrost control board and through the switches all the way to here and see what happens. All right, I'm not sure if that was recording when I was up top. All right, I got 28 volts to here. All right, I think I'm closer to finding it. We so we very likely have an intermittent short out here. Something to do with all this. That contactor is burnt. And that time it was just jumping in and out without me moving anything. Mm-hmm. There it goes again. Let's, let's just go ahead and replace it and see if that doesn't solve our problem. I hate to seem like I'm just changing parts, but I got a reason to change this contactor anyway. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Back up. 
pipe. Hmm. There it goes again. All right, as I'm doing this, it jumped in. Hey, how's it going? I looked in here and I tested these and I didn't find anything right down there where it's touching that true suction that's gonna be my spot all right I got that wrapped up let's see if we can't zip tie it away from that all right, fan comes on. So I still have low voltage. It's saying heat is on. But it's not. I think I'm gonna have to do the new thermostat anyway. All right, now this is blinking because it just got 24 volts. So we're in a time delay. Let's see what happens. All right, blower just came on and it stopped blinking. The blower came on without it being turned to fan. Contact is pulled in. Are we in defrost or something? Uh-oh, I think I see it. We got a wire that has pulled off. I must, I must have done that when I had it open. Quite a journey. Now we can finally check pressures. Oh. It's low. Go charge it up. I think that'll do for now. And uh, if we have to readdress soon, we'll do a leak search. Well, guys, that call took a lot longer than what it may have looked like in that 30 something minute video. The short that was actually causing it to blow a fuse was the one where it was touching the true suction. I fixed multiple other problems um, and the thermostat may have been fried when it shorted. It would not call for Y to come on at all and it would only bring on the fan when um, you had it switched to fan. And the contactor was severely burnt so it wasn't a bad replacement. I hope you enjoy these videos. Sometimes things like that just have you scratching your head. I was actually out there over three hours over two different days so i was glad for that one to come on and run and then it was low on freon go figure thanks for watching guys like and subscribe if you hadn't already and i'll catch you on the next one